Hello, everybody. It's Super Bowl Sunday, and we're not there. Instead, we bring you what could be called the Super Bowl of Bowling. The reigning PBA World Champion. The Tournament of Champions. It's better. Far more people bowl than play football. Yeah! And with fewer concussions. Do you have any idea what this front row seat would cost at the Super Bowl? The tournament, held a week ago in suburban Detroit, attracted the best bowlers from around the world. A raucous crowd, ESPN, and not one but two reporters from Bowler's Journal International. What, you don't subscribe? Bowler's Journal just celebrated its 100th birthday. Keith Hamilton is president of the esteemed magazine. That's our first one, November 8, 1913. He showed us a whole repository of covers of celebrities, athletes, statesmen. Harry Truman, he actually put in bowling lanes in the White House. Wow. And then they came out. And then Richard Nixon put them back in. And some surprises. And here's J. Edgar Hoover. Wearing a suit. He's wearing man's yeah, clothing. Yeah, he's wearing man's clothing. <laughs> For the 100th anniversary, we, we did a couple things special, of course. We wanted to make certain we put out a perfect 300-page issue. How does Bowler's Journal prosper when magazines and newspapers are dying off in droves? Uh, I would say what's become probably the most important part of the magazine is our ball reviews. New high-tech bowling balls are rolling out constantly, and a bowler's got to keep up. I have about 20 bowling balls. I, I seem to buy one every month. Those black rubber balls of old have become kinetic art, with intimidating names like Primal Rage and Cruel Intent, and more advanced engineering than the Mars Rover. That's the top. That's the top. That's where you That's drill the... You drill the holes into holes. the top. Actually, the top is here. <laughs> Cutting-edge implants and polymers determine speed, rotation, and hook. All that's missing is GPS. And it's not only the balls that have been modernized. This is a bowling alley? Do you have any beer nuts or Budweiser? There, no, we have none. This is the future. People here to bowl, not to sleep in the chair, and not to worry about popcorn in the back and videos. But bowling journal readers are more serious bowlers. Got that 10 pin. Carmen Salvino, age 80, competing in his 29th Tournament of Champions, reads the journal. I not only read it, I've been fortunate to be on the cover a few oh, times. You have? A few times. <laughs> and how many games do you think you rolled in your career? Oh, God, a couple million. <laughs> That's a lot of frustrating spares. No! Why me, God? I'm a good guy. Come on. And a ton of strikes. All right. Now that's a body for 80 years old. Here. Opening shot, title match. Back at the tournament, the Australian two handed bowler, Jason Belmonte. <laughs> faced off against Wes Malott. Oh. We'll spare you the details, but by the final frame, Belmonte was champion of champions. And it turns out the champ reads Bowler's Journal too. Picked up any tips? Oh, of course, yeah. It's filled <laughs> with uh, a bunch of information in that magazine, so for sure. But recognizing that many of you might still prefer seeing the Super Bowl, you want Super Bowl? I'll show you the Super Bowl. Well, not Super. <laughs>